Good Thursday morning, everyone. From WIS News 10's First Alert News Center, I'm Intisar Faulkner, bringing you what's new this morning. Well, all lanes of traffic are reopened after a vehicle fire that took place this morning on I-26 eastbound. Traffic this morning was at a standstill just after 6.30, but has since been cleared. Crews have been on the scene clearing that debris this morning. One person was taken to a trauma center for treatment. Of course, as we learn more, we'll keep you updated both on air and online. Richland County deputies are looking for two people responsible for a burglary. Now, this happened back in October. Deputies are trying to refresh the public's minds on who these women are. Take a look at your screen. This is Quanchandra Drayton and Shantia Howard. Deputies say that they're both wanted for first degree burglary. Deputies ask if you know where they might be or have any information that could lead to an arrest. Call the Sheriff's Department or Crime Stoppers at 1888 Crime SC. And the man charged with the kidnapping and murder of four-year-old Jessica Gutierrez is expected to take the stand later today. 63-year-old Thomas McDowell is standing trial for the 1986 incident. SLED agents and forensic experts took the stand yesterday, recapping how they believe McDowell snuck into Jessica's bedroom window. One of the most notable pieces of evidence was revealed with his fingerprint found on that window. Testimony earlier in the week claimed McDowell admitted to sexually assaulting and killing Jessica, while another alleges the last time he was at the home was six months prior to her disappearance. Now, prosecutors say if McDowell does appear in court this morning, they plan to bring up his prior convictions of rape and burglary. We are going to be in the courtroom today and we'll bring you the latest updates again, both on air and online at WISTV.com. That's where also where you can find the latest news, weather, and traffic updates. Have a great Thursday.